Hello everybody. Welcome back to the fourth video. I am just going to continue with my task 3 as it was just uh, incomplete in my previous video. I just shown you how to design the circuit but still we can make a structured uh, diagram as I was in a hurry in a earlier video. Just let me delete this. See this can be mirror imaged that means it can be X mirror. You can see how it get twisted. Yeah and then you just place it just in front of this pin and try to make the circuit very structured one and try to place this properly and as I mentioned pin number 7 is uh, plus 12 volt for the operational amplifier and pin number 4 is minus 12 volt okay and I am just feeding a sign input as I mentioned with a 1 kilohertz frequency with a 500 millivolt as a amplitude you can choose this RMS value or a peak value it's up to you okay so peak value is 1 volt and then say okay that means you are feeding a sign voltage to this and we kept this as a R1 or you want to name it as a RF. RF is called as a feedback resistor here. And I say this is my R in. Okay. So RF by R in is going to be the gain. So RF value we have 10 and R in let me make it as a 1 or you can make this as a 100 it's fine so what I'm going to do here let me change it as a 1 okay. and we have a load resistance is not a issue you can choose even a 1 kilo and we connect input signal let us say in channel A and the output signal we want to connect in channel B. You want to see the amplification process. Okay. So the circuit is ready now. Just save it. Just I'm saving it. Then I'll just run a simulation. Just see here now channel A that means the color which you can notice channel A is in 1 volt division and if you make it 0 0.5 you can see positive peak is 0 0.5 negative peak is 0.5 that means total is 1 volt ok so 1 volt per division you will see 1 division let me move the waveform somewhere here and this is our output you can see it is in 5 volt that means if you make it two divisions you can see here just move it convenient to measure we have here one two three four five divisions okay that means five multiplied with two is going to be ten volt and you can see the waveform this is our input waveform which is in channel A and channel B is our output waveform. Now, what is the meaning of this inverting amplifier? Okay, um, even if you look at the formula, the gain is given with minus R of by R in. That means, uh, let me make the both waveforms in equal size. Please understand the appearance is equal size, whereas the magnitude is different. You can see the marker is here 0 0.2, here is in 2. Okay that means 10 times is higher and just try to bring it in phase of exactly where yeah you can see the input waveform is starting with like this the output is exactly 180 degree uh, you know out of phase so this is called as a inverting amplifier okay so hope you understand this uh, in a better way now that means we could able to amplify our signal 10 times because the gain is set as a 10 
uh, if you want to test let me choose this as a 20k that means we expect now 20 times increase that means um, one yeah you can see it is 10 volt per division you can easily observe that there is two divisions that means 20 volt you may be wondering that if we keep increasing even we can produce here high voltage am i right yeah whereas there is a uh, you know limitation on that we feed here maximum voltage 12 volt so if you try to make the more amplification that means if you try to amplify more than you know the supply voltage range we are going to limit with maximum as a plus or minus v plus and v minus okay so that's a maximum limit like let me try as a now 100k that means you are expecting now 100 times the signal will be amplified am i right that means 100 divided by 100 kilo divided by 1 kilo now you will see that the output will be just a square wave and what is the maximum amplitude plus or minus 12 that means one division is in 10 now you can see the waveform is going this a little above yeah so we can't get exactly 12 volt also by the way because there will be a slight voltage drop to the output terminals we are feeding here 12 volt so it is called as a saturation okay so v sat voltage at saturation so this is a simple concept which i am introducing and you may understand is a circuit a type of inverting amplifier okay now let me come back to my original values like i believe 10k and just let me test again yeah you can see that it's a 2 volt you will get 5 divisions okay now i want to make something called frequency response that means every you know electronic circuit every component has a specific response to a frequency that means what is the signal frequency we have here 1 kilohertz let me try to make it this as a 100 kilo what happens wow my god but look at the output the input is in this one right uh, we don't want to go into the uh, the waveform nature but you can see the output is reduced actually we are expecting though the gain is 10 we are expecting to get a you know uh, the voltage of uh, almost uh, 10 peak to peak so we don't get it why the reason is the frequency this operational amplifier will respond to a certain amount of frequency only if you look for some you know high frequency amplifications you have to look for the operational amplifier which can handle that this you need to find out through the frequency response curve generally when you refer to the data sheet you may get such information from data sheet like what is the maximum frequency it can uh, amplify to otherwise even you can uh, simulate because uh, the the proteus who developed it they already modeled the values into this component okay let me show how to do this simulation uh, you know uh, frequency response analysis okay so first thing is go to the graph so we are in we were in uh, selection mode go to graph mode select frequency and just place it click and drag and place it okay and then right click edit graph yeah we need to add actually a probe on this okay so let me add a voltage probe on an output pin you can see this is the output pin i'm just adding a a probe okay and i'm just saying now edit trace i just give a name let me say like frequency 
response and the probe which i wanted is r32 i say okay and right click again and say edit graph the reference you have to choose it as a the input frequency okay and what is the start frequency like you want to start from let us say 1 hertz is okay you can start with 1 and stop frequency i go up to 10 hertz we don't choose uh, linear interval uh, it will be very difficult to analyze the graph generally the frequency response is plotted in a semi log sheet okay so steps of 10 that means you can see like from 10 to 100 100 to 1 kilo like this it goes on so this is the frequency response curve you can see we get a higher gain and the gain start falling with respect to the frequency like we start with the 1 hertz and 10 hertz you can see that it gives you the constant response and up to 10 kilohertz it gives you the you know good response good amplification in other words okay whereas if you choose for example um, 1 megahertz you don't get uh, the signal of your design uh, you know amplification okay so this is one of the you know good feature which is available in uh, proteus to find out the frequency response of the analog circuits okay i am just trying to move okay so this is a frequency response now you uh, you know you understood about uh, how to construct a simple operation amplifier based inverting amplifier and how to adjust the gain and also you learned how to you know change the parameters like resistance values and also you learned like how to change the name of the resistors and how to feed a signal of a different type like sine wave with a specific amplitude and a frequency and also you are able to add multiple waveforms to a CRO and uh, see uh, you know the response to an input you know how the circuit is going to respond in terms of output and also you learned a frequency response in which you are able to plot the response of the circuit over a range of frequency that means from 1 hertz to 10 megahertz hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching